Look at this. Look at this. Like, just sipping some coffee, Air Force Two. Real good. Take a picture of me looking out the window. You take Jonah, a picture of me Jonah, looking out. Jonah, calm down. It's a plane with a logo. It's not Space Mountain. What the hell do you do on Air Force One? Rub your dick on the seats? I haven't actually been on Air Force One. What? I haven't been. Oh! My name's Matt Walsh, and I play Mike McClintock, the Director of Communications for Vice President Selena Meyer. My name is Tim Simons. I play Jonah Ryan, who is the uh, VP liaison from the White House. The rehearsal process was mind-blowing, I think, the first year, because the scripts would change every day, and there'd be 10 drafts. And this year, we were completely fine with getting sides the day of and just going, okay, let's do this. Yeah, I think the, the chemistry thing really comes into play when you are, like, you're walking to shoot the scene and they're handing you new sides. Like, if we didn't have the kind of chemistry we did, I don't think we'd be able to handle that. I think we'd all just be standing around like, you haven't said your line correctly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm yeah. not saying mine. We s support the, the state of Israel, of course. And Mike, the, the VP and is voicing is solidarity with the Jewish people in front of rotating pork. For the Jewish people and as a... Change the visual. The Deport the visual. Yes, sir. I wonder if you could talk a bit about Julia. Is she a kind of den mother to you guys? Or what's your relationship to her on the Ugh. Ugh, Trouble. Oh. Problematic. Just really problematic. <laughs> no, she's a great leader. Like, I always say that. She truly is uh, the best. So fun, so professional. And I noticed the first year, she's so gifted at creating moments in text that you would never see. She's really good at, like, finding these jokes that are on the way to the joke. So I, I, that's one thing I've noticed just instantly from working with her. She got to break bread with Joe Biden at the vice president's offices, I believe, and they got to eat on vice presidential China, and uh, he has seen the show. He complimented her on the show, and she was telling us that various people on Joe Biden's staff introduced themselves as like, my name's so-and-so, but I'm, I'm like the Mike McClintock on your show. Yeah, they refer to moments, and we've heard this from not only the vice president's office, but from a few different offices. The government people, government employees will go through a day and it's like, oh man, that was a veepish moment. <laughs> yeah. Move the veep away from the pig. Think about the sensitivities here. What, pork? Mike, most Jews in this country are fine with pork. Pork smork, they often say. The big arc from my observation is that generally he was the executive branch. He was the face of the executive branch in the first season, and now we have some presence with Gary Cole and Kevin Dunn, sort of him kowtowing to them. So there's there's a little more weight from the presidential side, that just more people to push down on Selena, if you will. I think that's a big change. Yeah. If I have a personal arc, you can kind of see like shifts in power as to who Jonah is sucking up to and sidling up next to. Like a, like a barnacle, I just kind of latch on to anything I can. Mike has small victories where he gets a little success into the West Wing, the actual, he moves up in the executive offices and probably doesn't go well, I don't want to ruin it, but Mike doesn't succeed generally.